Hey everyone and welcome. First I'd like to say sorry for no video yesterday. I had a raging toothache. I still got it but I'll plod through. If you hear a rattle don't worry, it's the pills I've taken. <laughs> And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. In this video, we look at an article saying the BBC staff are having lovers' tiffs on Twitter. So, airing the dirty laundry in public. And bags at dawn, anyone? Very low levels of intelligence, this lot. It's titled, BBC's Simon McCoy asks Gary Lineker, please stop as Tory attacks risk abusing... P oh position. BBC newsreader Simon McCoy has urged outspoken Gary Lineker to stop speaking out against the organisation he works for as the colleagues clash on social media. Now we all know the BBC's bias, don't we? And we all know who for, but the BBC has to maintain a slight suspicion or they can't claim impartiality, can they? The BBC's own charter sets this out in the first paragraph. Their actual mission statement is to act in the public interest serving all audiences through the provision of impartial, high quality and distinctive output and services which inform, educate and entertain. Failed on all fronts then. <laughs> First paragraph. To provide impartial news and information to help people understand and engage with the world around them. I wonder when the last time they actually did any of that was. Because I can't actually remember, can you? Now, in my opinion, this could finish them. As Boris and Cummings now want them licenseless. This gives perfect excuse, in my opinion. And also, in the opinion of these liars, scoundrels vi and villains, by the sound of it. Let's read. Mr Lineker tweeted around the time of yesterday's government press conference which came as Boris Johnson defended Dominic Cummins for going to Durham where his parents lived during lockdown. Many people criticised Mr Cummins for breaking the lockdown, mostly Ramona's, which he helped to implement. BBC sports broadcaster and Match of the Day host tweeted yesterday, please stop lying. In response, Mr McCoy said, please stop. <laughs> if you speak for yourself, write a letter. If you're speaking for BT Sport, up to you. <laughs> Ooh. I, see what I mean? I'm bugs at dawn. But if you were speaking with your BBC hat on, have they got hats? I didn't know they had a hat. Why have I never seen the hat? It's a dunce hat, isn't it? It's going to be one of them peak hats that they used to put on your head and sit you in the corner in school with a D on it. That's that, 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 that must be this BBC hat on. What do you reckon? You are abusing a position which puts BBC journalists in an impossible position. No, you've already put yourself in an impossible position. This is just uh, another foot on the ladder. <laughs> Defiant Lineker responded by saying, check the rules. That only applies to those that work in news and current affairs. Not so, Mr Lineker. Not so. We've already seen your mission statement says nothing about news whatsoever. What it actually says is to act in the public interest serving all our audiences through the provision of impartial, high quality and distinctive output and services which inform, educate and entertain. See what I mean? So he's talking through his backside. This is a partisan move. This is party politics from a organisation, staff in an organisation that is supposed to be impartial. Come on, Boris, sort them out. Earlier yesterday, the retired footballer said, not sure how this Domcom will end. This, though, should not be about what party you support. <laughs> Did he come out and say anything about the other three, the Labour MPs that have been caught doing exactly the same thing? In worse so, because they were going to, what was it? A barbecue, a party, and a funeral. That was right. So mass gatherings. Didn't say anything about that, but it's not about what party you support, is it not, Gary? Oh, see, see the hypocrisy of these people. They just don't seem to understand. They can't even get through a tweet without discrediting themselves, can they? <laughs> It shouldn't be about whether you'll leave or remain, says the Ramona. None of that should matter one iota. Really, really, really. Let's let's wonder. Shall we wonder? Does it matter any iota to Gary Lineker? Of course it does. Otherwise, he wouldn't be being party political when he's supposed to be impartial, should he? This is about the right and wrong. You're wrong. This is about the truth. This is about trust. You've lost your trust, and so has the BBC. Boris and Dominic... Cummins, especially now you've been hounding him, are going to want to finish you for this now. Am I wrong, everyone? Do you think that uh, this is perfect ammunition for Boris to shut down the licence fee completely? Bear in mind, they are taking free licences away from 75-year-olds in August. That's not gone away, by the way. That's still happening. 
When it was revealed Mr Cummings went to Durham during the lockdown, Mr Linick had tweeted, Rules are made to be broken. Hard, therefore, not to conclude that lockdown is broken. Oh, so one man breaks lockdown so everyone should. Is that what we, what you're actually saying there, is it, Mr Linnicker? See, this is the problem, isn't it? The media are running around, being able to go wherever they want, whenever they want, and then they're running around also at the same time, attacking normal people for doing the same. You understand why I, I, I'm really disgusted with the media at the moment? Mr Lineker retweeted Emily Mathis' response to the scandal which was The damaging thing about this whole issue for government is that Cummings instantly loses any right to tell others they are out of touch, elite, missing the mood. That's properly over now. He has become the thing he loathed. Speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> Now, what's my opinions on this? I think it's absolutely hilarious. I think, um, what's the old ad adage? Left always eats itself. It looks like there's proof of it inside their own corporations now as well. I think B Boris and Cummings should use this as a perfect opportunity to destroy the BBC or at least put them back in line by removing the, the license. Because we all know, uh, we don't think, do you think that the BBC are capable of putting out any good programmes anymore? So if they went to subscription, who would pay? You know what I mean? But I'd like to know your opinion on this, everyone. Do you think it's another another nail in the coffin for the BBC? Because <laughs> I think it might very well be, you know. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.